Hi there. I'm not sure if you've heard the story of Jeff Bezos uh, drawing out the Amazon strategy on the back of a napkin. It's really the thinking behind the flywheel and what that flywheel means to the business growth and the momentum that gets created going forward. And if you want to get a bit more insight, a quick Google will give you a very clear picture of the back of the napkin di diagram that Jeff Bezos actually wrote out and drew out. And at Terraflow, we've done exactly the same thing. We've sat and spent a lot of time really understanding the strategy of our business and how we've got to take the business forward. And I'm going to give you a very brief overview of our flywheel. It's not complicated, but it's pretty detailed behind the scenes. And through the series of videos, we'll go into the depth of the flywheel. I'll ask some of the team to jump in and really explain from their point of view how the fly flywheel works and how we've adapted a lot of our programs and how we've flipped a lot of the thinking. But let me just get into the overview. Business is about people, and we honestly believe that the quality of our staff defines the quality of our business. And so we start off by looking for A players. And when we do find these A players, we put them into an autonomous team. And this is really the decentralized nature of our business model, the swarm thing thing that we've created. And we've got these teams that have the customer problem at the very heart of each team and they create the value that the customer is really looking for and solving the problem of the customer. But we do this in a very, very specific way. And what we've done is we've worked out our Flojo, which is the third part of our flywheel. And this is really how we deliver the value that we promise through the process to our customer. And by understanding our flow, Joe, the way that we deliver and really understanding the end to end consistency of that delivery, it allows us to really be a lot more competitive and deliver the value where it's really required. So we have a very sophisticated delivery model that's built around our flow, Joe, and certainly we'll go into this in a lot more detail. And then once we're actually delivering it, because it only counts when it's actually in production, when it's usable, and we blow our customers' socks off, and we've got a very, very strong customer framework by creating this incredible customer experience. And not only that, we, we, we really work closely with our customers on what we call our build, operationalize, and transfer model, where we develop the customer skills around data and ML engineering. And we do work very deeply with our customers to upskill because it's a big issue around the quality of the work. And then once we're able to do this, we're able to pick up new projects and, and, that, and that in turn allows us to go and recruit more A players, build more autonomous teams, and it allows us to really drive the business forward. So strategically, this is what we think about in terms of our flywheel, not a complicated framework. Um, and I'm gonna go through a whole series of videos, as I say, on this flywheel, because there's a lot of thinking and a lot of disruptive thinking in terms of how to run a business. So enjoy.